Beth, I'm Karen Price, I am the Community Lead and I work for the Ernest Cook Trust. And I'm Sarah White and I'm Programme Manager for the OWL Collaboration, also at the Ernest Cook Trust. We got involved with the Access to Nature programme because we recognise as a landowner and an outdoor learning deliverer that there are lots of barriers to accessing green spaces in nature, whether they're quite obvious barriers or hidden barriers. And by being involved in this program, it meant we could hear from other people with experience, hear from other organisations working in the field, explore different potential solutions and support each other. One key learning, I would say, is to take that step back and, and have that critical view on the whole experience in terms of accessibility. So from that session with the Sensory Trust, uh, with the accessibility chain, or going on to the session with Inclusion Gloucester uh, about co-creation, where it was all about you absolutely have to think of these things at the point of inception, and that costs money and takes time, and you have to invest in that. A key link for me was to just do something. I think I worry that I'm going to upset somebody or do the wrong thing and I think as an organisation we may also feel that about, we need to have it perfect before we implement it and actually talking to people, doing stuff, taking that first step and taking sometimes a bit of a risk. People aren't going to dislike us for trying something new that, um, from general feedback is people are just thankful that we are actually trying to be welcoming and accessible and inclusive. There's been a validation there with some of the things we were thinking about and we're piloting this year and actually that was really reassuring actually some resources that we're developing alongside the Country Trust. Resources like using a GoPro to do a tour, a video tour of a site to help families, children and young people prepare for their visit um, because for some that familiarisation is really important and actually Andrew Lansley's session really brought that home to me that for some children and young people that's actually critical um, so that was that was a really nice thing actually that we kind of felt validated in some of the plans we had already. And I think from an organisation the benefit from the programme has been around recognising where we are and where we've got to go to so I think we're still at the very start of the kind of journey for us but that's really exciting and it's being just bringing the whole idea and cons awareness of access in, into the foreground and on, around the table so it's now can be talked about and it's so we have a way to go but it's, it's there now we now have that actually oh, we need to think about access we need to think about this barrier we need to think about car parking we need to think about toilets we need to think about x y and z um, and yeah, to me, just an exciting prospect of knowing how far we have to go in the future and that we can take risks and try them. I have to say, I have really enjoyed uh, visiting the different buildings, coming to Barnwood, learning what you've done there, just architecturally in terms of access, was actually really inspiring for me. But I have to say, mainly, it is about the people and that real feeling of trust, the space that's been created. I feel like we've got a really long way to go in terms of sharing all our learning going forward and, and that's been because we've been able to take the time to kind of get to know each other and, and share our experiences. It's been really valuable. And I would echo Sarah's comment, the, for me the most valuable thing personally has been that time to be spent with other people um, from other organisations, whether they're big organisations or little kind of sole independent or people working in their own kind of charity. Um, time to just discuss ideas and share ideas and support each other when it's not quite worked as well as we wanted it to but just time to yeah just be a nice a nice safe group to explore ways forward really it's been fun <laughs>